Hey, how you doing guys? Welcome back to another episode. I have this 2015 Kia Sedona or whatever you want to call it. That's how I say it, I'm saying. This is what I got for you, all right, in this episode. Other than that, thank you for the uh, new subscribers, all subscribers, newcomer subscribers. I appreciate it. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the help. Thank you for the support. Where would I be without you? Now I'm saying I appreciate it. Like I said, other than that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. Destroy the subscribe button. That's the main thing. That's your goal. All right. That's what you gotta do. Hit the subscribe button. Do the same with the like button. Maybe you know someone, your friend has a 2015. It doesn't. It doesn't matter the year, but this is a 2015. So if your friend has a 2015 Kia Sedona, give it to him. Now I'm saying share this video and. The most important thing, besides of subscribing to my channel, your feedback put in the comment box for me. Yeah, I mean, anything, anything you need to say, any idea, any suggestions, maybe you know a better way to do this, which I doubt, I'm not saying I'm better, but this is how I do it, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to hold you up, do that for me. And also, use super chats and super stickers. I right, have fun with that. Try that out. I'm not gonna hold you up no more. Do that for me. I right. and have fun. I hope you like this video. I like your boy. After after all this, I'm gonna come back and tell you, uh, you know, what happened. Other than that, oh. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways of how to replace the rear brake pads. Rear rotors and rear brake pads in this 2015 Kia Sedona. You feel me? Let's do it like a pro. Now, nah, me with me as tool. Thanks for the support. Holla at you, boy. I see you. After the replacement. You feel me? Hana. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you different ways of how to replace these brake pads because when you do this job, you're going to face different problems. You feel me? So I'm going to get you ready to tackle these problems. Now you can adjust the shoe brake through that hole. Then we have two bolts that hold the caliper onto the bracket. And the bracket is being held by two bolts. This is going to be the right side, the passenger rear side, okay? As you can see, the rotor is damaged as a result of friction between the brake pad worn to the mats and the rotor. These are the bolts that hold the bracket. And this is another bolt that hold the caliper bracket. We're going to remove this bolt with a 14 millimeter wrench. We cannot use the socket because the space is too tight. You could remove the arm, but you're just going to waste time doing that. If the bolts are too rusty, 
you can use some W40 just to make your job easier. I don't want to get my ratcheting wrench stuck in here, so I'm going to use the open end wrench. I pry the caliper with the bracket away from the rotor, like so. Now to make my job easier and faster, I'm going to use the ratchet wrench cordless with a 14 millimeter socket. To remove the rotor drum, we're gonna hit it with a hammer if the shoe brake is not holding tight against the rotor drum. Otherwise, we're gonna have to lose the shoe brake through that hole in order to remove the rotor drum. Ta da! You can tell it's been a hot minute since the last service to these brakes because it's all rusty. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna spray this shoe braids and the whole thing with a brake cleaner then lube the shoe brake adjuster with some w40 don't forget this is the left side driver rear side and this is the passenger rear side right side they both rusty so we're gonna spray with some brake cleaner We're gonna shoot the bolts that hold the caliper onto the bracket with a 14 millimeter socket like I told you before. Then separate the bracket from the caliper so we can remove the brake pads and push back the caliper piston in order to put the new brake pads. You can use this tool to push the caliper piston back like so. I'm 
me for good. Time to remove the old brake pads. And after that, I'm gonna check the bracket hardware, which don't look promising. So I'm gonna replace it. You can release it or change it. Now make sure the bracket sliders slide in and out with no problem. Because if they do, they're going to kill your brakes faster. I'm lubing the shoe brake adjuster with some W40 just to make it work as designed. Now, on the passenger rear brake side, I'm going to take a different approach. Now, as you can see, there's no brake pad at all in this one. And this is what killed the rotor because of the friction of metal to metal. This is the difference between a brand new brake pad and a worn to the mats brake pad. Now, this right here, this is butter, bro. This is the... the, the Liquid metal, now I'm saying this is the T1000. Now I'm saying this is the brand new Roto Drum. This board right here comes with some grease, so make sure before you put it on, clean it with some brake cleaner. Yeah, I mean. And this one right here, this one right here, this is the hardware. And these are the brand new brake pads. This bracket hardware don't look good at all, so we're gonna replace it. Now I'm saying we're gonna put the new butter. Now I'm saying.
now we puppy now the old hardware because it's not good at all with a flat screwdriver or with anything that you can pry with then of course brush off or scratch off the rust so the hardware the new hardware sit well on this bracket Nets. Don't forget to put some brake grease on the new hardware so the brake pads slide nicely. We install the roller drum on, then we put the bracket on, and of course, don't forget to put the two bolts that hold the bracket in position. Make sure you snug both bolts good.
now we proceed to install the new brake pads and if they don't fit in we're gonna have to file them like so Now just give them a little push thin to mount them and you should be good. the settings right here so this thing
Now on this side, you can tell that the slider is on the way. So we're gonna have to remove it with the 14 millimeter wrench and a grip wrench. And we're good, we all good. Make sure you grease the sliders. Don't forget to grease the side of the brake pad that is in touch with the piston and the caliper. Put the bolts back, snug them, and you're good, we're all good. And make sure the rotor drum spin freely. Hey, how you doing, guys? Welcome back. It's back and back at me. How you doing? I hope you're doing okay. And I hope you like the video. I hope you enjoy it. This is how you replace the rear brake pads and rotors in this 2015 Kia Sedona LX. Yeah, me. Thank you for watching, I appreciate it. Before I go, I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers, all subscribers, the newcomer subscribers, I appreciate it. Thank you for the support, thank you for the love, thank you for the help. Yeah, I mean, where would I be without you? Other than that, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right, hit the subscribe button, bang it, hit it hard, the subscribe button, do the same with the like button. Maybe you know someone that has a, uh, Kia Sedona LX. It doesn't matter the year. You know what I'm saying? Just share this video. They're gonna appreciate it. And the feedback put in the comment box for me. This was the video how to replace the rear rotors and brake pads in this 2015 Kia Sedona. Alright. Two ways of how to replace it. Maybe there's more, more than two ways, but uh personally I wanna I wanted to show you different ways, two ways how to replace these rear brake pads and rear rotors. Now I'm saying that's it. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy and I'm not going to hold you up no more. Play with the super chats and with the super stickers. Yeah, I mean, have fun with that. Try that out. Hey, I forgot to say that, uh, now I'm saying you remove the tire, remove the caliper, remove the rotor, put the new rotor, put, put the the caliper bracket, put the pads, put the caliper on the bracket, put the tire back, and road test it. Here for any sound, now I'm saying, drive it in the in the in, in your town first, and then drive it in the highway. You don't need to drive it in the highway, but you know, just just for sake. Know what I'm saying. I was gonna mention something else. Oh yeah, I wanna give shout outs to uh give me one second, let me see. Yeah, I wanna I wanna give shout outs to uh Binkley. I'm sorry if I mentioned it wrong. Binkley, thank you, I appreciate it. Ronica Bossi, Eric Santiago, 
FGS Panda Bear, shout outs George Gonzalez and Diego Mover. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thanks for the for the comments. Shout outs to them. And uh that's it. Alright. Drop around, robot test it, holla at your boy. That's all you gotta do. Alright? Like a pro, a stool, boodle. Me.